Have you ever had times in your life where you felt like a virus or a pathogen is trying to latch onto your body? What do you do? Does it taste good? No. But is it good for you? Absolutely. Few things are as beneficial to your immune system in terms of building it and sustaining it as raw garlic and raw ginger, particularly the non-GMO kind, right? Non-GMO garlic, non-GMO ginger root. And so I chopped up a couple of cloves of garlic and a ginger root. And then, as you saw earlier, I ate it directly. And so here are some chili peppers because that's another part of the immunity concoction, right? Along with onions. And so I'm going to take the rest of the chopped garlic, ginger, and onions, right, that I didn't ingest directly raw, and I'm going to use it in a meal that I'm going to cook. And so I call this an immunity meal. Well, almost all of the meals that I make can be considered a type of immunity meal, but they feature elements like garlic, ginger, sometimes uh, crushed red peppers or chili peppers, and onions, right? And I may leave off the, the chili pepper sometimes if I don't want it too spicy, but I find that spicy um, elements like this, the capsaicin in these elements, actually, in my view, help uh, boost immunity. And so while I'm doing this, I'm also preparing a batch of chickpeas, right? So I got uh, Kala Chana and Kubali Chana uh, varieties of chickpeas. And that part of the ginger root that I didn't feel like stripping down and uh, dicing up, uh, the big uh, round uh, lumps, I cut those uh, in half, but I didn't go all the way through that lump. And I put it into the pot so that I can infuse these beans, right, and these um, curry leaves with ginger, right? And so I want to infuse it with ginger. Sometimes I will also put in a garlic clove, right, and I might put in some peppers. Speaking of peppers, this is the more mild kind, an actual fruit, right? And so I'm going to take uh, that and some seeds, right? So I got fenugreek green seeds and I got, um, you know, a combination of seeds. It's actually called a uh, uh, paunch foron, right? And I'm going to take turmeric and ginger powder. And I'm also going to take garam masala, paprika, and pomegranate powder, right? And I'm going to mix those together. Then I'm going to finish the whole thing with some fenugreek Greek powder and some black pepper, right? Um, most of those elements that I just mentioned are beneficial to um, immune function, right? Or building it, right? And then, of course, you got your cruciferous um, uh, vegetables here in the form of cauliflower, which along with uh, kale, broccoli, and cabbage are from the mustard seed, um, which I have a few mustard seeds here. And so I'm actually um, waking these seeds up with a little heat, which is going to activate some of the oils in the seeds, right? And then I put in my, my first layer of spice powder. And then I'm going to stir all this together because I didn't actually plan on making this video. So I'm going to stir, um, you know, the, the, the pro level way, right? Add some olive oil, right, so that we can actually start, um, you know, uh, cooking these spices. And uh, it's a slight tadka technique, right, um, that I've kind of integrated into my cooking style. And so I'm going to mix all of this together. So I ran out of coconut oil, so I'm using olive oil here, um, organic, non-GMO, extra virgin olive oil from Spain. And so I was able to get it at a very low price uh, at Sprouts Farmer's Market. And so I generally like to wait until I have bubbles in this spice mix. And I have the burner set on three for uh, those that are curious. And so try to keep everything to a low heat, right? And because the heat has had an opportunity to build up, right, I have a good momentum on the way the heat is being distributed through, um, through the pot. So I'm going to stir these ingredients a little bit more because I'm not going to go back and say, oh, let me get a tripod and just make this uh, pro-level video for YouTube. I mean, who does that, right? But anyway, so then later on after that cooked for a while, 
I decided to add in the cruciferous vegetables and the larger onion chunks, right? And so I like to have my vegetables and um, the so-called uh, fruits that, that people call vegetables sometimes, like bell peppers. I like to have those um, cook in layers so that they have a variety of textures, right? But it also benefits in that you also get a deeper uh, mixing of the nutrients and minerals and other nutritive factors from those spices and oils into the vegetable mix here, right? And so in between takes of this cooking sequence, I've, I would stir this around and get this uh, going uh, the, the right way. And so um, I like how this is coming along. I'm getting a good coating on the cauliflower, right, in particular. And I used to be on the side where I wanted the onions to be, you know, a little uh, more crunchy, but I've actually changed my tune on that um, and that I like my onions now to be a little bit more caramelized because they actually digest better because a big picture, part of the big picture here is keeping an eye on digestion. I took some of the larger cauliflower stems and I put it in a pot with the chickpeas, right? So that, um, you know, I can uh, put those, put that to good use. So I actually don't need liquid in this uh, side of the cook because the natural moisture that's part of the cauliflower is going to help do the work of softening it up, right? I'm gonna put all of that on a bed of greens, right? So that I get my raw greens mixed in with the, the simmered vegetables, right? So I'm gonna keep the pot as is, and then I'm gonna reuse this pot, and I'm gonna dr I drain the chickpeas, and I took out some of the um, the the larger ginger chunks and set those aside, and so I'm just going to um, work on these chickpeas a little bit and the curry leaves, right? And then I'm gonna add a final layer of spice and then the bell peppers, because I don't want the bell peppers to overcook, right? I still want most of the nutritive factors from the bell peppers, they have more vitamin C than an orange. Bell peppers have more vitamin C than an orange. So I want to maintain that, right? I want to maintain that vitamin C. And I'm getting some iron from some of these other elements, right? And these are some of the uh, ginger chunks uh, that I put aside, right? Um, I'm actually not going to eat those in any form or fashion. Um, I just used them to infuse ginger into the, uh, to the mix. Speaking of uh, liquids here, I'm going to use um, some uh, coconut milk here, and that's going to add a little moisture uh, back into this and also add some of the, the nice flavoring that you get from coconut milk, right? So I'm going to let that, um, you know, stir in there for a while. And then I will let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes so that it calms down and it's not so hot and it's comfortable to the tongue and to the digestive system. And with that, I will see you on the other side.